Hello everybody, my name is The Strange Eli, and welcome to another video. As you will notice, I am not in my room, because it's like a war zone. It's awful. So, I'm in here. Anyways, so today I wanted to talk about something that's very near and dear to my heart, and I'm pretty sure I've used this exact same intro before, but comic books. Uh, more specifically, superheroes, and the message that they bring to the reader. Even though that he's an entirely fictional character, I find that Superman is like, is still a symbol of hope for me in the real world. Um, if I'm doing something, or if I'm thinking of something, or something happens where it's just not right, like not um, exactly perfect, or uh, or if I'm like worried about something, or um, or if like I'm, I have a little bit of fear going on, I think about Superman and what he stands for and what he means and I think that he is a symbol of hope for me in the real world. Um, sort of how like how people would put their faith in a god or something uh, but on a much lower level I don't believe in Superman like I would believe in a god or put all of my life and devotion into him it's just that I think that he is a symbol of hope that I can still stand to and look forward to or look at and still support. And this is why, this is this is my segue into a conversation about real life superheroes, people who actually exist, who actually dress up in costumes and go and fight crime. And I think that what they're doing is incredible. Um, you've probably heard of um, a really popular real life superhero who is in, who is in Seattle. His name is Phoenix Jones. I'm going to go ahead and move so I can show a picture here. And, um, and what he is, is that he is a, he's this black guy in Seattle, and he calls himself Phoenix Jones, and he dresses up in this awesome, uh, I think, bulletproof, like, rubber suit, kind of like Batman, and he goes out and he fights crime. He, um, I've seen him break up fights, I've watched him, uh, find, like, track down people who have, um, shoplifted and then, like, get the items and return them back to the store owner and stuff like that, like, bottles of bleach, which apparently, um, was used for like a drug thing but um but it's just like it's incredible and even for those people the people of Seattle they can walk the streets of Seattle at night thinking that they'll be a little bit it's a little bit safer because they have Phoenix Jones and I think that's amazing like you as a human being as a normal person without any superpowers Unless, unless Phoenix Jones has a superpower that we don't know of, but as a normal person with no superpowers who can just go out and do what is right, just by doing what is right, that brings a lot of hope to people. And I think that's so incredible. I think that that's just, like, mind-blowing. I think that Phoenix Jones deserves more credit for what he's doing. A lot of people, I've seen comments, comment threads and stuff like that, and, um, and I've watched, like, uh, videos of like news programs where they talk about him and even talk to him and it's like it's literally how it is in like Spider-Man comic books how they're like oh well Spider-Man's a menace because he's taking the law into his own hands and they literally say those same things about Phoenix Jones they're like well you know you're basically being a vigilante and you're like you're not working with the police so really you're not really doing anything and people actually genuinely dislike Phoenix Jones because of just the fact that he's helping people but he's not with the police and I just it blows my mind because like he is just a normal dude doing normal things to help normal people and those people the the people of Seattle are feeling some kind of hope so I <laughs> I just think that's amazing. Um, and like I said, like I think that Superman is a symbol of hope for me. I have a Superman shirt where it's just black and it has the red Superman symbol, um, similar to like the Superboy costume where it was just the it was just the uh, the the black shirt with the, with his jeans and stuff like that. That was like for a while, and I don't um, and. And I look at that shirt, and I stand in the mirror, and I stare into the symbol, and I just, I realize that, like, that symbol 
literally means hope. And I think about Superman and how he is just this all-around good guy who's there to save people for nothing. He's just doing it because he knows what's right. And that gives people hope. And that gives me hope. Even though he is a fictional character. So, this is going to be a really short video. But basically, I'm just, I want to call out to you, the audience. If you're watching this, please just try to do the right thing. I believe that people are inherently good. But I understand that conditions that people live in and things that get brought up can warp a person into something that's ugly and something that's can be that something that can be sinister and there's a lot of bad in this world but they weren't all born like that that was something that was changed over time so please just go restore some faith in humanity you don't have to spend money you don't have to do anything really you could just donate to some I mean, you could donate to some charities online if you wanted to. You could go out on the street and talk to people and be nice to them. You could do anything. If you really want to go the full distance, you could put on a mask and go, you know, you can go talk to some homeless people and help them, direct them to shelters or tell them where they can get food or even better yet, just give them some water bottles or like uh, some, some little tiny, like, those like groceries, or not, not grocery, those gas station bags of trail mix. And be like, here you go. I hope you have an awesome day. And, you know, like, be safe. You know, do, like, it's, there's a lot of little things that we can do to make humanity better and to make the world a better place to live. So please, viewers, and anyone else watching this, I implore you, please, just do what is right. And on that note... I'm going to end this video. So thank you all for watching. If they bring the rating system back, go ahead and go to five stars. Go ahead and like this video. Subscribe. All of that junk. And uh, talk to you later. Bye-bye.